G'day world, I'm Craig Jenkins from Bendigo Hydroblasting and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, it means the video description caught your attention and you're wondering if you can make money from vapor blasting or hydroblasting. Yes, of course you can, but how much you can make often depends on your initial investment and competition from other businesses in the region. Here's my thoughts on the matter, and yes, I do make some money from the wet blasting process. When I first thought about getting into blasting, I watched hundreds of videos on DIY builds and store-bought cabinet performances. Every time I watched one of these, the same thoughts entered my head. The process is so slow, and this in itself will limit the customer base to the wealthy who may be able to afford it. To open up that customer base, I started researching bigger and more powerful units. This opened up a big can of worms as I was now looking at units with kick-ass slurry pumps that required three-phase electricity to run them, which I don't have. And huge volumes of air at a constant high pressure. Well, the unit I purchased was a Dana Ridge unit and I supplied power to this via a three-phase diesel generator. The generator worked okay, but was noisy, smelly, and downright dangerous with all those fumes. So I purchased a single phase to three phase converter from a mob in Melbourne who build these magical units. I supplied them with my pump specs and they sold me the appropriate unit. This thing works an absolute treat. Well, I'll give you a look at the slurry pump and the associated plumbing. Here's the pump. It's driven by a four kilowatt motor. I think that's about seven and a half horsepower in the old language. Uh, the pump supplies the slurry to the inside of the cabinet via this delivery pipe here. Inside the cabinet, the slurry flow diverts in two directions via these two one inch flexible hoses. One heads down into the slurry to keep the water and glass mixing together and the other one inch supply goes to the handpiece and exits the handpiece through a half inch nozzle and onto the part to be blasted. While we're looking at the handpiece, that other hose there is three quarter inch high pressure hose and supplies the required air to the nozzle also. Okay, this brings me to slurry volumes that these things put out. I filled that 12 litre bucket there in about six seconds. So that's about two litres of slurry a second impacting on the work surface. And don't forget, there's the same amount being used down below keeping that slurry agitated. Uh, so that pump is actually transferring about four litres a second. Uh, slurry volume is very important factor in gaining the best quality surface finish. Uh, the more slurry, the more polished the finish will appear. Of course, we send our biker parts to Benigo Hydroblastic. They come back looking shit hot and shiny. Subscribe to his channel. Thanks, Cobber. Okay, that brings me on to the next very important factor that uh, needs to be considered when operating one of these machines, air supply. The manufacturer recommends 30 CFM of air to run this machine. I use two 17 CFM piston compressors uh, to supply the air required. It's not the ideal scenario, but it's more than adequate to allow me to run 80 PSI of air up that slurry's ass. Okay, that's my two cents on the process I went through in setting up my business. I went the big option, and I think it's worked well for me, as I can now service blokes like me and provide an affordable service to a wider range of people. This setup allows me to complete jobs in two thirds of the time that it would take using the smaller, less powerful single phase setups. Like I said, this is how I did it and others may have differing ideas, uh, but food for thought, eh? Anyhow, thanks for watching if you got this far. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, would also love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. If you want to see this machine in action and uh, want to check out some of the work I've done, I've got plenty of videos on my channel for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Catch you next time.